place to live after they say they were scammed and they say they did everything right and have the documents to prove it but were victims nonetheless in an interview you will only see on 11 alive latasha givens is talking to the family and other potential victims who believe they were scammed by the same woman you come what 700 miles away and then now, now all of a sudden you don't have anywhere to live joy beverly and her husband moved their family from ohio to atlanta for work she put out an ad on a Facebook group for traveling nurses. She says a woman answered the ad with what she thought would be the perfect place for her family. So I canceled my Airbnb to move into there, um, gave her money. Here's a copy of the lease agreement, and Beverly says she was given two keys to a unit in Atlantic Station. Came to find out she did not, it wasn't a condo like she said it was. It was actually a um, an apartment, and she wasn't supposed to be subleasing it. A lot of other people said that They've been scammed by her. We went over to the office and they said that she was evicted. She hasn't paid rent in two months, so that's why she was trying to get $4,400 out of me. Beverly says the apartment management initially agreed to let her family stay there for a few weeks until they found another place, but that quickly changed. I came home yesterday after working a 13-hour shift and the police, the uh, security, the um, security manager, Everybody was over at the apartment putting us out. Beverly says the locks were changed while her children were inside the unit. We had 30 minutes to get out of the apartment. They escorted us off of the property. All of our stuff was in the back of our car and we had to go and get a hotel last night. It's very frustrating because we have our three kids down here and we just get put out and then we have nowhere else to go. We spoke to a woman in another state by phone who says the same woman scammed her when she had a temporary nursing assignment at Emory. Shortly after being there, I came home from work one evening. There was a notice in the door. Irma Brown says the same woman owes her a deposit of 1850. Well, here we are, 30 plus days pass, and she has pretty much gone ghost on me. We're not using the alleged scammer's name because she has not been charged with a crime, but we did find a woman with the same name and other matching details has had multiple liens and small claims judgments against her, according to these court documents. And in Facebook comments, others have stated they were also scammed by her in some way. For now, the Beverly's are staying at a hotel with their three children. They say this whole ordeal has been a strain on their family. A lot of pain and disappointment because we thought we had a place to stay. We brought our kids down here. Now, we have reached out to the apartment complex and Atlanta police for comment, but we have not heard back as of yet. Two words.